Hello, and welcome back to The Spirit of Watercolor with Linda. I did not post a video last year in February. I recorded it, I made some Valentine's Day cards that were bright, fun, and easy. You can even do these with your kids. So you might want to check that out. It's a diversion from our color paintings about color and how color is uh, therapeutic and healing and cre creates and evokes emotions. That's where I'm at this year. But I want to go back to that because the brightness and beautiful colors, vibrant reds and corals and fuchsias and uh, to use those and make some loose watercolor cards um, I think would be wonderful. And I looked at the video and I thought I'm going to uh, re uh, up edit it and record, you know, and, and upload it in time for Valentine's Day. So I'm so happy about that. Um, so why don't you uh, stay tuned and check this out. It's a nice fun way to just kind of let the watercolors flow in bright and beautiful, vibrant, life-provoking colors. And that's why I'm always so glad also about Valentine's Day because in the middle of February, we need that, right? We need to send love and color and just all the beauty um, that's in our hearts. It's about hearts. And so I'm really glad I found that video and um, didn't post it. Don't know why, but here we are. Um, stay tuned, uh, come to the table and let's do it. Okay, see you there. Okay, so I've taken a little detour from our non-brush technique videos to just um, celebrate Valentine's Day and I was looking at cards and I thought, oh Linda, you could make some cards. It wouldn't take long to do some wet on wet hearts. So I cut up some of my nice Fabriano paper because I think quality is still very important, especially and even with using uh, making cards. So I have these envelopes that I bought at Michael's craft store and then I cut down my um, my uh, paper to make these cards and, and I used a cutting uh, style device to do it to make good straight cuts. And then <clears throat> I took and I cut out some hearts also out of this nice paper and I may or may not attach them to cards, paint these and attach them to cards, but for now I've just traced them on my cards like that, and here's some smaller ones on this one. And then I'm just gonna do wet on wet around the paintings, and then we're going to um, do uh, some, some washes in the hearts inside as well, unless I choose to keep them white, but I'm going to leave that for after I paint the space, the negative space behind the hearts. Okay. So here I am. I've taped down the cards. So you've got one with three hearts and one with one, and I've taped them down so that I, they're going to stay there and I'm not going <clears> to <throat> struggle with the folded folds of the card and so forth. And then I've got my palette here, and I'm going to use both parts. I want some vibrant pinks and purples. And I want some of these nice reds because we're looking at um, Valentine's Day, which I realized is, you know, um, a way to still continue to do our art is to do cards for holidays and such. Uh, some of my friends are doing this way more than I am. Um, and uh, I think that um, you can still keep practicing your, your paint skills and build and learn while you're doing some of these um, uh, cards because um, people love getting a handmade uh, original painting and it's a card and and they can be beautiful and um, sort of you know small so they're not something you labor longly over. I'm using some bright oranges too here and um, and then some of the cooler reds maybe too. I like these beautiful kind of rich reds. When I figure out which red that is, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, so I've got my palettes, both palettes, the top and the bottom of the palette ready. I've got my, my painting, my potential paintings ready. What I'm going to start doing on them is I'm going to uh, put um, uh, just a wash of water around the hearts and then bring wonderful colors around them and then let them dry. I may put a little salt in them if I decide. 
me. Do, 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 do. Where are you? Salt. I saw you. Oh, there we go. There we are. And then um, I will, after they dry, I'll go back into the hearts. Maybe, like I said. So these shouldn't be too hard. I don't. I don't want like an edge. I didn't put the tape around for an edge. It's just holding them down. I want my paints just to kind of flow from the around the uh, hearts and out and just kind of fan out or fog out if you will okay so now i need a good brush just to get around those paintings i'm going to use my pointed rounds i always end up with my poor beat up um <laughs> brush here and uh i will try to stay out of these paintings as much as i can that's often a challenge uh, the way i have my table set up but here's just plain water and I'm going to bring it around my heart here. Let me know if I'm in there. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll edit it later. That's the problem. Again, these are not made to be complicated, but just beautiful. Just rich, gorgeous colors, loose, wet on wet. So I'm letting that water soak in around, around, around the heart. I just like these for practice, if nothing else, just to understand more about how our paints actually work. Again, I always recommend the best paper. That's a good Fabriano 140-pound cold press. And uh, I wonder if I can also go into this one as well. Sometimes you shouldn't overdo it and do too many at once, but these are small. So I'm just, if it dries before I get to this one, that's okay. But I just want to get some water around these also. And then when this starts to set up and dry a little bit so it doesn't flow too fast, I will put some paint, so vivid, beautiful watercolor colors around. And then we'll let them dry and then we'll go back in, like I said. All right. Um, now, my thought was that you know, for the background, I would like to use some of these beautiful pinks and purples and maybe some of that orange. Okay, let me get some of that orange over here then. Okay. I kind of think in the red in the centers, and it can be on the outside as well, so that's okay. Okay, so let's just start the flow, okay? Let those start to spread out in their beautiful way that they do. And I'm going to bring in, ooh, got to watch I don't make mud colors here. Um, bring in some of this beautiful pink in there and let that flow into the other. Remember our variegated wash? Boy, that was a popular video for me. I'm just kind of surprised how much people enjoy that. Uh, well, here you go. More of that. Oh, let me get that. I'm not the best mixer this morning. <clears throat> let it flow. Let it go. And the reason, again, I like my paints on these boards is so I can move things around. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to bring it in randomly around this beautiful pink color. And then I'm probably going to go in with my purple. I have this beautiful Curbazo Violet that you probably remember I just love. If it's not spreading as much as you want, bring in a little more water, but just keep your paper towels handy to lift if it gets too, too, too intensified or something like that, okay? And then um, let that water and paint kind of graduate out. Let's go for that purple. I was starting to go for it. That's a different purple. That's really gorgeous. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, it's kind of a blended, interesting thing I made there. Now my eyes aren't that great as you know, so I sometimes have to think about that a little bit. Um, get that detail. But Sometimes, you know, you can worry too much about being too perfect, and that can actually be a problem as well. Oh, I'm going to get more of that orange in there. 
Now my intent here is to keep these colors gorgeous and intense as much as possible in areas, but it's going to value, very in value, because I like that. Oh, I think you never know what the card's going to come out like, or any painting for that matter in watercolor, but that's part of it, is you need to kind of go with that, with the flow and the joy of the beauty of it. I'm going to reach way over here, because the orange I want and the red I want are way over here. And I want to bring more of those in here now. So I just, you can drop them in or brush them in. And you can do a whole lot of these cards and have a really fun time. Um, but, uh, we're just going to let that paint flow. And as it's starting to set up a little bit and dry, I might bring even more color back in. But I like the transparencies of these colors coming through. The colors that I've used are um, Quinacinone Rose, some Rose of Ultramarine. These are Daniel Smith paints too. Asking for if you really want a perfect line, you can, you know, put those hearts like I said. I could put the white heart that I cut out back on top. There's just all kinds of things one can do. Okay, I'm gonna go to my paper towel and just see where my paints are really dripping. I'm try to clean that up so that it isn't distracting me from what I've got here. Mm, but that's that's kind of pretty. Yeah. I may go back in with some pink inside, but I'm going to wait and see. All right. So, i got to stop the camera from wiggling. So, I'm working on the second one here as well. And it's, it's different in colors. This is more pinky and purpley. This one's got more orange going. And more of that tie-dye look. I think it's kind of fun and still trying to maintain those hearts. We'll let those dry and then we'll decide what more they need. If anything, um, if they need color inside, I did do a little splatter. I can clean that up. It's not something I want to deal with right now, but um, just using some um, ground, you can get that, that out. So don't worry about that. Okay, so this one's drying. And this one is still wet but um, letting them set up and then see how much more because I, I like the fresh bright flowing colors and I don't really want to do too much there's a glob there I couldn't fix though but um but the thing is that we kind of want to um, let uh, these paints uh, shine in their glory of you know just what they they can do for themselves and uh, trying to manipulate and you can lose your freshness so so that's just a loose and easy way to make hearts on the cards I sure hope you enjoyed that and it gave you some ideas and inspiration just for a loose card. Just cutting out those valentines, you know, makes uh, 
a nice clean shape and then you can write in there like I did anything you want to say and then open up the card and send your loving wishes to friends, neighbors, family members, spouses, significant others. <laughs> so I hope this was fun and gives you some easy way, fun way. And like I say, it's fun with children too to um, uh, find things you can do together like this or just something that they can feel very successful doing just like us. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and let's move back to our purple watercolor. That's where I'm at. I'm trying to get that one um, finished and uploaded. I'm working really hard on this mysterious mood thing going here. So I'll see you in that video very soon. Take care and continue painting the spirit with the spirit and soul of watercolor. Bye.